Hi everybody, my name is Robert and I'm here to tell you about these great guitars in my hands and behind me. They are the Heritage Custom Shop Core Collection. That's a mouthful for one of the best guitars on the planet, really. They are made in Kalamazoo, Michigan. And that is exactly the same place where Gibson used to be. Uh, it's the same factory and some of the people who were there, let's say in the 60s and 70s, are still there and they're making these beautiful guitars. <laughs> There is even a more special story about this guitar. I was introduced to it at NAMM 2020, so that's already a long time ago. So this guitar has been in the making for several years. And, uh, and why? Well, I will tell you why. Edwin Wilson, who used to be the head honcho at the Gibson Custom Shop, he sort of got it off the ground in 91, 92, together with Tom Murphy, a name you probably well know. So Edwin Wilson is one of the guys who really knows what a Gibson is all about, what a Les Paul is all about, and what makes the guitar tick. Um, I met him actually 10, 12 years ago uh, at an M show, and um, being who he is, he told me all about Gibson Les Pauls, how they're made, the whole procedure, the lacquer, the pickups and everything. And we sort of kept in contact all the way through. Uh, when uh, I found this very nice Dutch burst in 2012, I, I think it was, and by that time he was already more knowledgeable about Les Pauls. And uh, we met again, he measured the Dutch Burst for instance, he's the driving force, or he was the driving force behind the whole um, Collector's Choice series. And uh, during those meetings and when he came over to Holland to measure up the, uh, the Dutch Burst, uh, I learned a lot from him. So he was learning for instance about, I'll just give you one example about a guy who came in with a, uh, with a broken guitar, a 1959 Les Paul, and the, the neck was broken. So that was actually the first time anybody at Gibson in modern day saw what the truss rod actually looks like. So they used all this information and all the information about the guitars they measured, the originals and the lacquer components. Uh, they sort of re, uh, reverse engineered all the plastics and everything that eventually led from Collector's Choice up to 2015 and 16 when they introduced the True Historics. The True Historics are among the best uh, Les Pauls and, and other models that Gibson ever made. Uh, the only disadvantage of reverse engineering a lot of uh, you know, parts and, and you know, researching a lot of guitars that costs a lot of money. So Henry Juskovic at the time <laughs> wasn't very happy about that and um, I don't know the exact details, but you know it ended up with Edwin leaving, and he, uh, you know, he, he joined forces with Heritage uh, because Heritage is, as I said, uh, you know, housed in the original factory uh, at Kalamazoo.
obviously it, it doesn't look exactly like a Les Paul, but all the details that are known to the, let's say, aficionados, like uh, what kind of lacquer, uh, what kind of pickups, what kind of, uh, you know, what kind of layout, what kind of materials they use, what kind of woods, what kind of weight. Uh, these are all important features and all his knowledge is now sort of combined and comprised in this series of Custom Shop Core Collection at Heritage. And I must say, I'm not easily impressed. I mean, uh, you could think I'm a snob and maybe I am, but these guitars are really something else. And not only are they everything that a Les Paul owner uh, would like, I mean, of course, note that I'm not knocking Gibson because Gibson makes incredible instruments. I play Gibson, I love Gibson, but this is a serious contender. Why? Because it's, it has everything that a Les Paul needs and also the price uh, when you compare it to, for instance, a True Historic in 2016, they started at 6,000 euro, went up to 12,000, you know, the whole range. Uh, and this guitar comes in at a 4,000 euro, which is still, of course, a lot of money for a lot of people. Uh, but this is a steal, really, if you consider the quality. <laughs> course it's the ingredients that make the dish and this is a very well construed dish uh, of course the 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 tone wood is mahogany it's very lightweight uh, the tops are amazing they are uh, very 3d um, and they are of course maple the pickups that they make are their from you know their own uh, design and they are low output uh, of course the binding and the, the fretwork is amazing the, the rosewood is really dark uh, they have very nice uh, Grover style tuners and one important thing is they redesigned the headstock because I, I, I'm not sure what you think but uh, the heritage guitars for me were always very nice but the headstock was but ugly and this is now redesigned so it's reminiscent of the old one but much more uh, let's say in style with the guitar itself. Uh, of course the, uh, the pots and everything all the electronics are state of the art and uh, yeah, there's not much more to say than uh, just listen to the demos and just be impressed like I was. Mm -hmm. 